there's a car coming. Crazy goatish creatures. Speckled rattlesnakes of Joshua Tree. A nice rattlesnake. So this here is a young speckled rattlesnake that we cruised the other night. He was out in the middle of the road and there was a car coming, so I ended up moving him out of the road. As you can see, he's kind of curled up here and he's looking really cool. It's cute. The speckled rattlesnakes are a really cool snake. They are highly venomous, and so a bite from him uh, does have the potential to kill me if I was to be bitten. Chances are I would only lose a finger uh, if I was bitten on the hand and it swelled up real bad. Uh, these guys are, are nocturnal. They're active at night. We find these guys out cruising around. We try and move them out of the road, um, and then we take some pictures of them, like these pictures here. Yeah, it looks so much bigger on the road. Right? I always try and move them further away from the road uh, as possible, so that way they don't come back into the road getting confused. Uh, all of this is kind of weird for them getting across and then suddenly being stopped, picked up, moved over, put down a little bit. There he is, cruising away. Find another one. So this is the second rattlesnake that we found, another speckled rattlesnake. And so we got a couple of cool photos of this guy here. And then we helped him off to the side of the road where he just slithered into the bushes on his own. We can get him off the side of the road here. There you go. You don't get off most of the road there yourself anyway. Now he's gonna rattle away. But yeah. Ain't up underneath there. Good looking snake. Where you at? He's gonna start coiling up, isn't he? Nice little speckled there. Oh, look at him cruising. Oh, he's nice. He's real cool looking, look at that. This third snake here we found last night. Uh, he was, this is just outside of Joshua Tree National Park before you enter. Um, we've only found one live speckled rattlesnake at night at a time. But you can Sorry, see this up. is a really cool looking one here. It's very beautiful looking. And he's not real noisy. Most of the speckled rattlesnakes that you see here aren't making much noise. As you can see, this speckled rattlesnake just curled up and sat there and used his camouflage to try and not be killed. And so they're just kind of be camouflaged, which this can be somewhat dangerous because if you're not paying attention, as you can see, he just curls up. You can hardly see him here. I know I'm a little bit further away, but I'll zoom right in here so that way you can see him. You got a good shot of him? Yeah. He's got a good pose right there. Like curled up right there. But yeah, look, he, he blends in so, so well there. Yeah. Blend right in with the rest of this. All right, let's uh, let me just move him down a little bit further from the road here. Hey, buddy. There you go. So if you're walking on a trail and a snake like this curls up on the trail in front of you or on the side, it's very hard to, to notice. And so you may accidentally step on it or kick it, that causing a bite, and that's going to send you to the hospital. They are highly venomous snakes, and they do have the potential to kill people if you're bitten. Nope, don't come back towards the road. Keep going. Keep going. A little further. Yeah, just down here a little bit. Just out of the way. There you go, buddy. Going that way. Good job. 
So one of my favorite things to do is to just drive through the desert at night looking for rattlesnakes in the road. It's pretty simple, they're in the road. I just move them out of the road. We take a handful of pictures, we move them a little bit further off the road and then they're good to go on their way throughout the night. And it helps to not have a snake get hit by a car.